Okay, so in question four, they're giving us two function machines, and the first one is y equals the square root of x minus five, and the second one is y equals the square root of x minus six. So the question right here says that the beginning input right here, beginning input, is six. And it says for A, in what order must she put the machines to get a final output of five? So let's just try it. Let's put a six in here and see what comes out. So remember, uh, what goes into the machine is the X value, it's the domain. So we would have Y equals, right, um, the square root of six minus five. So this comes out to Y equals the square root of one and the square root of one is one. So what comes out of this machine is one. And now if we feed that one into the next machine, again, what goes into the machine is the x value. So I'm gonna put a one in for x here. So the function is y equals x squared minus six. And with a one, that would be one squared minus six. So y equals one squared is one minus six. Y would be negative five. So if I use the machines in this order, I would get a five out. So clearly A can't be putting them in this order. So let's see what happens now if we use the other order, right? So instead here, let's get rid of this and let's put um, the six into the second machine first. So I'll feed a six in here. So that would be y equals um, six squared minus six. Y equals um, six squared is 36 minus six. Y, whoops, y equals 30, right? Okay, so now the 30 comes out here and we're gonna feed that into this machine, right? 30 as input, which is the x. So we get y equals the square root of 30 minus five y equals the square root of 25, and the square root of 25 is five, right? So the five comes out here. So question A says, in what order must we put the machines? So the answer for A, right, if we were gonna write the answer down, right, would be um, first y equals x squared minus six, followed by y equals the square root of x minus five, right? Okay, now for B it says, is it possible for her to find an input that will get a final output of negative five? Well, we already know that's the case, right? Because up here, we tried that, right? That was what we tried. So it says, if so, how should she do that? If not, explain why not. So B would be, yes, it is. And the way we would do that is first, we would use Y equals the square root of X minus five and then we would use y equals x squared minus six. And we would put in, right, we would say x equals six into that first function and then feed that into the second function.